What's good, my people? Welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you've been here before, what's happening? Man, if you know me in life, I don't like preparing for the worst. I don't like buying band-aids until I get a cut. And my mama always told me her favorite saying was, it's better to have it and don't need it, and need it and don't have it. If y'all from Jackson, man, you know this man right here. Gary Pickens. When Gary gives the forecast for the week or the next day, you never know what he gonna say. And Gary be lying. Gary be unpredictable. Gary be like, well, folks, uh, it's gonna be a hailstorm tomorrow, so uh, make sure you stay inside. And we be like, Gary, I ain't no hailstorm finna happen. But one day I was watching The Wrestle when I was a kid. It was WWF at the time. And this sound came on the screen. And it was like, I'm like, what is this, man? Like, I'm trying to watch the wrestling. And Gary came on and Gary was like, well, folks, uh, there might be a F4 tornado that's gonna happen tonight, so make sure you stay alert and make sure you take shelter. And I'm just like, I ain't no tornado finna happen. Like, that stuff we see in movies, this, this, this is not gonna happen, Gary. So I went to sleep that night and I woke up to this. And when you hear that sound, it gets real. Like, I don't care how hard you is. Yeah, like I was saying, Kip all my, you know what I'm saying? I told bro, I said, hey, bro, on that thing, bro. If you do it again, bro, on that. Hey, uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all later, man. Hey, hey, tell Kim Fall Man it's all good. I forgive him. Um, I see y'all tomorrow. I mean, hopefully, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's pray. So I grew up in the projects and it's a community. And everybody mama is your mama. And when that siren come on, the grandmas come outside like, y'all all right over there? Y'all all right over there? Ooh, I hope it don't do nothing. And the story of Jesus calming the storm. I could look at this story and be like, yeah, I'm like Jesus. As a kid, you know, when I watch superhero movies, I want to be the hero. Like, I think I'm the hero. And when I read the story of Jesus coming the storm, I could be like, yeah, I'm like Jesus. I'll be, I'll be sleeping through my storms. I'm not like Jesus all the time. I'm like the disciples and I'm like Jesus. Like, do you care? Do you see what's going on right now? In our world today, things are so unpredictable that you did not see coming. The government shut down. When did you ever see that happen? It's Marcus Saul getting traded. Come on, Jesus. Wake up, Jesus. Like, I know you see this happening right now, Jesus. Marcus Saul just got traded, and you back here sleeping. Look at you, slobbing on the cushion and stuff. Our world today and the hard times that we face in our personal life inspires me and encourages me to keep my foundation on the rock and not put my trust in man or nobody in power, but to keep my trust in Jesus, the one who have predicted the storms before they even came. Jesus knew about the government shutdown. He knew about Marcus Saul being traded and he is a just God. And hopefully one day we will get a high school phenom like LeBron James here in Memphis, Tennessee, who will get us a championship because Mike Conley can't do it on his own. Lord Jesus, help us, Lord help us. But I wanna give y'all a plug about my new book, Sports as a God. Maybe some of y'all didn't predict this book coming out this year, um, but it is coming out in May of this year. Sign up for the email list um, to stay updated with newsletters and videos. I will not flood your email, but I wanna keep you updated and welcome you into this vision I am so excited about. If you're watching this after May, the book is out. Go get it. Sports was a God, aka Swag. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day.